All right, gamers, welcome back. We're playing Car Mechanic Simulator 2018, and thank you so much for joining me. Hope you guys are having a great morning. We're back here in Car Mechanic Simulator, and we're in the garage ready for yet another mission. This guy here is having a few problems with his nice blue car. <laughs> oh, man. What is this thing anyways? Does it say? No. Ooh, no, that's not where we want to go. We want to go in here. Here we go. Okay, so mission. This guy's Royal Crown. So this is what the guy says here. He says, I bought this car from a dealer. Uh, good job, buddy. It wasn't the cheapest, but supposedly it was a good deal. Exclamation point. The problem is that it's very difficult to shift through gears, and sometimes something bangs on the left side and the right side too. Check the general condition of the car and repair whatever you find broken. The dealer ensured me that everything is nearly brand new. Well, according to this faulty parts list over here, everything is not brand new. Okay, so let's get this thing on the lift. Let's do some tests. Let's go. Um... Check this car out. Shouldn't be too difficult to fix this up here, I don't think. You never know. You never know. Everything's brand new. Oh, that doesn't look overly brand new. Oh, I can see some pretty bad rust there. Oh, this looks bad, son. Your gearbox is a wreck. Your this front drive axles look like they're a wreck. Oh, that one does anyway over here. Same thing. You got some tie rods that look like a wreck. Oh, this this drive shaft is, is a wreck. Oh, my goodness. And, and, and this steering rack is also a wreck. Wow. Okay, now you're in bad shape, buddy. This is not nearly brand new. The dealer took you for a ride. That's what happened there. Okay, so let's see here. First things first, compression test. Let's make sure the engine actually has compression in the pistons and is actually working the way it should. It looks like it stayed in the green there. Yeah, we're good. We're good. 60%. You bought a lemon, son. All right. Uh, what else we got here? ODB? Maybe this can tell us a few things. Run the tests, man. Well, at least the car starts, too, so we can find out what all the suspension problems are. Oh, well, that ODB reading is good, too. All right. Hey, let's just do a quick check to see if there's anything wrong with the electrical. You just never know. Starters and who knows what. No, Nobody turns the knob like that when you're using... like. Oh, here we go. Radiator fan, housing fan. Radiator fan, housing. Okay, so the fan's making a racket. Very nice. Let's get ourselves... Uh, actually, we could probably... Fix that from here. Ready? Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's a straight mess. Take that off of there. Radiator fan housing fan. Let's see something here. Radiator fan housing. Hmm. There was. I don't think there was any numbers. I don't spend a hundred bucks for nothing here. But oh, the f radiator fan housing fan. Okay, let's go with that too. I didn't notice, but okay, okay, okay. Here's hoping I didn't make a mistake there. Let's see. Let's add the part back in. Okay, that works and that works. Are you sure? I am pretty sure. Nice. Okay, so that should solve that problem right off the bat, right? Right. Right down there at the bottom. Sweet. Okay, now let's see if we can't take this thing onto our test path. All right. Because this will tell us maybe at least if there's something wrong with the brakes or whatever. Because if he wants me to do a general inspection, I think we should... Well, where are you going, buddy? Just just right here. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, this doesn't sound great. Hmm. Doesn't sound like there's any muffler problems. Ooh, you see front brakes there? That's bad. Okay. We've got some brake problems. Probably some clunking around. Some calipers are seized. No doubt. And a guy's suspension is a wreck. Let's see just how bad it is. Oh, well, that's not too bad. Okay. Not great, but not too bad. I wonder what we're supposed to have it at. Uh, like, what percentage it should be at. Uh, we'll like, for it to be repaired anyway. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, there's a lot wrecked there. Oh, man. Okay, we got a big, big shopping list for this guy's car. So, let's see here. Did that discover everything? No, there's a bunch of stuff not discovered. Okay, all down here it's discovered. That's not discovered. Okay, bunch of stuff. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it out for a test drive as well. Real quick here. Let's go to our test track. And we are going to take this guy's royal crown with us. And we're off. Ooh, acceleration on this thing is... Come on, man, I'm punching it. Oh, this is worse than my fan. 
Okay, slow her down a little bit, buddy. Let's do some slalom. And the steering seems not too bad. Ooh, okay. Pulls a bit to the right there. We'll have a look and see. Let's see the suspension here. Oh, oh, oh. Not good. Okay, that was rough. Of course, we hit it at 80, 80 kilometers an hour, but... I guess if you hit anything at 80 kilometers an hour, you're in pretty bad shape. Ooh, and his brakes aren't too bad. Okay. And we've got, oof, clutch release bearing is shot. Sway bars, outer tie rods, gearbox is shot. Okay, okay. We examined 25 parts right there. Where is it? Oh, oh, it's still on the test path. Okay. Oh, stink! It's gonna have put. It's gonna have reset it. Where are you? You're way down at the end, aren't you? You are. Okay. Come over here, buddy. Let's get you over on the lift. As a matter of fact, okay. A couple of parts not discovered, but it could just be who knows bearings or whatever. Hopefully, it's hopefully it's something simple. Okay. Let's go put him up on the on the lift and have a C. Okay. We gotta see a lot of rust, I think. Yeah, we're gonna be shopping for like a half an hour for all this guy's parts. Okay, so if we get underneath here, oh yeah, he's back. So parts like, I don't know, like does the steering, let's see something here, steering. Yeah, those things don't show up on the list, I don't think. Oh, four brake pads, okay. Let's see this. Because you gotta kind of take them off to examine them, I'm pretty sure. So these two parts there, that sh they should be two undiscovered parts. So we're gonna be taking off the whole front end here. Okay. Let's go straight for the brakes here. We're gonna need all new pads. This guy got taken for a ride. Oof. Not good, buddy. Should have come to me before spending the money. So let's see here. Front wheel bearing. Hub bearing, actually it looks like it's in good shape. Tie rod, not so much. Okay, 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 okay. And the shocks, I think we're okay, right? They look okay. Let's hop on over to the other side. I don't think there's any bushings. I don't think so. I think we would have been able to discover the bushings by our test paths. So, okay, you're out. Oh, this caliper is completely shot. Look at it. Also, the flywheel doesn't get discovered until you go open up your gearbox and get in there. So, <laughs> we'll do that too. Can we? Yeah, this thing is shot. This, this, what is, what are they? Not that. Oh, we got to take this bearing out. Okay. Take the hub off. And then this knuckle cover, front axle knuckle cover, that thing is at 9%. So, the knuckle itself is also completely shot, which means we got to take all this off. Look at that back there. Tie rods. Oh, it's all it's all scrapped. This guy bought a scrap car. I can't believe it. Oh my goodness. I guess that's the joke for this guy. See, there's probably bushings in here too. What do we got? Oh, there's a lower suspension arm at 15%. Okay, so the, just the arm itself. It looks like the bushings are okay. And let's get the tie rods off. Let's get the knuckle off. 11%. Steering rack is definitely, yeah, 14%. And where was our drive shaft? Let's get in here. We just pull it right out. 14%. This guy's vehicle is trash. Your vehicle is trash. Oh, engine bay. Stink. Okay, let's get this thing back down. Wow. Okay, your whole front end's trash, buddy. This is why there's knocking sounds from every which direction when you're driving. Okay, let's get the starter off of there. I pulled that to begin with. Whenever you have a gearbox job, go for that starter. Because sometimes, like on the Jeep, for example, I had the Wrangler. I fixed that one. And the Wrangler, you had to access it from underneath anyways, which is a real treat. But if you don't check, you know, if you don't check the uh, starter before going underneath your vehicle, you're going to be lowering and raising it like I just did. Okay, you're out. Let's get this bearing off of here. The plate's got to go. Let's start here. Actually, it doesn't matter. We're just taking it off, right? Okay, the clutch plate doesn't look like it's in such bad shape. 61% is okay. Flywheel is 7%. Right. Okay, so how are we doing in the parts department now? Oh, 
We've discovered almost everything except for two things might be hidden in the back somewhere. Who knows? Right? Oh, it looks bad back here too, man. That looks terrible. All your wheels are coming off, son. Your vehicle is a piece of trash. But don't worry. He was told it was a good deal. Don't worry. <laughs> he was told it was a good deal. Well, by all means, go with what you're told. Yes. Don't, don't, don't take it to somebody to see if it's actually good. Just, just believe what you're told, man. Come on. Hey, where are you? Here you go. This straight off of there. Okay, so this, this hub is trash, right? 10%. This knuckle is trash. Okay, that's trash. This little rear end link. Oh, man. Oh, man. Where, where are you going? Why is he zooming way over there? What are you doing, buddy? Okay. This one down here? No, we gotta take the whole shebang off. Thankfully, it's easy. Look at that, it just screws right off of there. Oh, there's probably bushings in there. Rear suspension, I bet you the bushings in there are shot. Oh, that's 61, hmm, interesting. So, rear rubber bushing, let's see. 14, 13, rear suspension arm, and there's a little rubber bushing in there, okay. And this one, 10%. Although that might have already been discovered, I'm not entirely sure, but just taking all this junk apart. Oh my goodness, this guy's car is absolute trash. Uh, what are we missing? Oh, the upper arm, okay. That looks like it's in okay condition. That's off, and this rear sway bar A definitely got to come off. So, hmm. What's it attached to on the other side here? Oh, the... Uh, what do you call these things again? The rear end link sway bar. Mm, we gotta take the tire off for that. Okay, we're doing the full job. Look at that. We're doing it from behind the car. <laughs> this mechanic's a beast. Now, oh, we have to take the pads off anyways, right? So all wheels are off. This thing's in bad shape. This is in, in worse shape than some of the stuff I found in the, in the barn in the last episode. Man, we found some better deals back there than we that this guy found at the dealership. Let's take the sway bar off, 12%, wow. Okay, let's just see here. What about the bearing in here? No, the bearings are all good. Sometimes they like to hide that on you. So the shock, everything here looks like it's decent. Can we see an overview? Oh, we got some bushings back here in bad shape. Look at that. They're, they're like straight red here. Okay, so let's get them out of here. You're coming with me. Rubber bushings at 14%. Let's also check this thing here. Fuel fuel filter. Or fuel pump, I should say. Can be hmm. no let's let's what, no no, let's try taking it off. Okay, let's take this. Just take it off. 61%. It's okay. You want they already got me once with that. I don't want them to get me again. Okay, so how are we doing? No, not calls. We go straight to the vehicle body. And we found everything. Very nice. Okay, so I got myself a shopping list, guys. I will go take care of that, and I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. We've got all the parts here, ready to roll. And we just got to put this guy's suspension all back together like it was new. So there we go. Rear sway bar, you're in. No screwing necessary. Let's get the rubber bushings in before we forget as well. And we actually, just one second here. What is the... Oh, repair with minimal parts, 100%, right? Okay, so let's put this all together like that. Let's get the knuckle housing in there. Let's get the wheel hub on. Anything that was 10%, I guess we're basically going to be replacing. See, that one there is good. Good enough, anyway. Let's get the uh, bearing in here. Okay, let's get this back in here. Wheel hub cap, you're good to go. And not that, this disc brake. Okay, 61, nice. Got ourselves some brand new pads. One of them had a bad caliper too, and I, you know what, I'm gonna put the good one in the front, I think. That's what I'm gonna do. No, we are gonna go, okay, nasty caliper with nasty cylinder. Let's go. Okay, there we go. And then we got some, some suspension arms here. Uh, yeah, that one was in real bad shape, so we'll screw on something nice here. This is gonna cost this guy an absolute fortune. Uh, upper arm. Okay, so we've only got the one, so that should be good to go. Now, do we have... We've got rubber bushings. Good enough, anyway. Let's stick with those. It's the old arm, anyway, so 
we'll keep the new bushings for the new arms. Um, yeah, shock absorber was terrible. I don't know how this happens. It's just neglected, I guess. Okay, so that was bad. Mm, we're going to take that one, and I guess we'll have to put a new one in as well. I bought a whole bunch of those, so I actually should have extra, I think. Okay, so then where's our link? Here it is. Rear end link. Let's put this one in. That's all right. Okay, and oh, oh, what's this here? Small rubber bushing goes in there. Oh, okay, they're all the same. And anything else? What about over here? Right in front of my face. Um, let's put these in. Okay, and then I think that's it, right? I think. Let's get the tire back on. At least it'll, it'll look the same. Okay, let's hop on over to the other side. We're gonna, we got this. This is, this is a, it's a big job, but we, we got this. All right, and over here, the link will go in as well. Brand new one to boot. Now, there was not much else that was a problem here, so that's actually pretty good. We just gotta change the brake pad. He's getting his old discs back on. I don't know, he's being cheap, I guess. We probably should charge him for a new disc, but. Okay, we got the old caliper on there. Here it goes. Okay. And got a bearing. Oh, no. I think the bearing was in, right? Oh, the real hub cap's not on. Very good. Get in there, buddy. There we go. Oh, come on. Get the wheel back on. Okay. There we go. Now we got to get over to that front end where it was a complete disaster. Drive shafts, everything. Just total disaster up in the front here. He's not going to be happy to find out that his car was mostly, mostly wrecked. Okay. Steering rack. Brand new steering rack for you. Let's get the tie rods in right away too, so it's not just floating there. Can we get this one over here? Sure can. Okay. Let's go back to this side, get the tie rods in on this side. Let's zoom over there, shall we? There we go. Oh, we don't have even the knuckles not even on. Okay, so we gotta get this piece on here first. This floaty piece right here. Brand new front steering knuckle. Actually, is that what it's called? What is this thing called? Yeah, steering knuckle. Very good. All right, you're in. You are on. Let's get the front shock absorber back together, shall we? Okay, very nice. Let's get the arm back, too. I think I need to buy a new one, right? I did. So let's put... Okay, well, we'll put this... Hmm, that is what a rubber bush... Let's just put new bushings in here, shall we? Come on, click, man. There we go. There we go. Let's get that in there. We'll tell him that he got a whole new part there. We didn't put any old rubber bushings on there. That, that's... Yeah. So that like that. Front wheel hub, good enough. Okay, and then let's get the bearing in there. We should zoom in a little bit here so we can see what we're doing. There we go. Ventilated disc right on there. Ooh, it doesn't look too good now, does it? But he's keeping them. That's what he wants. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta get that drive shaft, but I mean, our whole gearbox is taken apart, so. Okay, what are we missing? This uh, front end link? Okay. So there. Okay, okay, okay. Now, we're gonna have to get. Let's see. We gotta start working on the other side. Otherwise, we go to the gearbox. I guess we could. I guess we could start here. That way, we get our drive shaft back on. Oh, wait. Oh no, it was the clutch plate. Yeah, the clutch plate was still okay. So that's good to go. Pressure plate, we needed a new one. There we go, perfect. And get the little bearing on. And we can put a whole new gearbox on. Those don't come cheap, I gotta tell you. That doesn't come cheap. Okay, and then we can get our steering, or I should say front drive shaft brand new as well look at that oh, so these drive axles are also new there we go and we can get his tire on this end right away okay there we go and we should be able to just head over to that's one's on this is the one that's not on okay very good get in here start adding parts on this side so drive axle brand new on this side as well get the ventilated discs on here Brand new brake pads. 
old caliper, but it's still in pretty good shape. We loosened it up a bit. It's ready to go. Cylinder's going to be working just fine. And hopefully I didn't... I don't know if I missed any bushings on this side or not. Let's just have a look. We did uh, sway bar rear end... What? Sway bar rubber bushing. We did miss a rubber bushing. We missed a rear suspension. There's some rear suspension we missed. And a small rubber bushing as well. Okay, so let me let me see here. Uh, do, 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 do. I think everything is okay on the front here. It looks like the back we missed some stuff. Okay. We're just going to double check our work here. Double check your work, buddy. And the bushings are okay and they're in place. Okay, I think the front end is okay. I don't know, buddy. The front end is okay. And then we're going to go over here. So where's our... Hmm. Not installation. How about inspection? Let's see here. Everything, everything looks green and yellow. Okay, okay, okay. So there's some... You know what? It probably has to do with the sway bar. Or, no, that's sway, what was it called again now? Let me just see. Yeah, the sway bar rear end link. Hmm. So here's the sway bar. Let's see if we can't get over here. Oh, man, don't make me take it all apart again. Uh, so rear end link. 61%. Was it the one over here? How do I get over here? Come on, buddy. You got this. And that one's green. Hmm. So maybe it's that. I don't know. Is it this one over here then? Is that is that the deal? Hmm. Okay. I'm going to clown around here a little bit and I'll be right back. Okay. We're back. And it looks like the sway bar rear end link, the one that I'm, the one that's right behind me here, uh, was, it, it was at 60% whatever, but it, once I replaced it with a 100% one, uh, we're good to go. And then, of course, the rear suspension arm A popped in. And this is where my bushings are and everything. So I, I bought that as well, of course. But, yeah. There. And then I didn't even have the spring cap on. There's a few things we missed here for sure. Okay. We're going to send this guy on his way without any suspension in the back end. That's not too hot. But we caught a number of things there. Okay, so I got to find... So there's a small... You see small rubber bushing here... I just got to find, I think it's two small rubber bushings. Let me make sure. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. Oh, regular rubber bushing. Sorry. And then one small rubber bushing. So it's, this is the only place. Well, it's not the only place, but that's got to be in there. So, okay. I'm going to, I'm going to see if I can't take the, can I take this apart? I sure can. So let's take that apart. Now, when I go to put it back on, I think I should be able to choose yeah, the rubber bushings. Let's put brand new bushings in there and see if that's the problem. And what do we got? Oh, one rubber bushing. Well, that was the small one, but not the big one. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, do we still have rubber bushings here? We do. Well, we got one at 89%, but I got to get a 100% one in there. Oh, there they are. Rubber bushing and a small rubber bushing. Okay, we're good. So on this side, let me see. These rubber bushings, you can tell they're bad when you... They, they got like muck on them or whatever. They don't go rusty, but they do go kind of mucky. Uh, like this one. What? Can I not zoom back out? Okay, let's just go like this. This one here looks kind of not promising here. See how it's got... What does it say? 61%. Let's see if that's the one. Let's see if that's the one. It sure is. See, you gotta spot them. You gotta spot the little bit of muck that's on them, and then you're like, okay, that's the one. Okay, we found it. Oh, you're doing tires wrong now, but he was smart. You tired? This guy. Unbelievable. All right, Sue. We should be actually good to go. If I get out of here. Let's see. Oh, well, I guess we'll lower him down. I mean, whoop, that's the wrong side. Okay, let's lower it down. We're going to have to explain to the customer that he bought a lemon here. Ah, you know, it's not a total lemon. The engine works, right? It's, it's not uncommon for, like, suspension and brakes to be replaced. It's just sometimes, right? But it's have the salesman tell you that your car was okay, you know, nearly brand new. I wouldn't have called that nearly brand new, especially with, like, the cost is going to be 7700 bucks. 
right? So we're making $3,700 off of this job, but there you go. We've pretty much got everything at 100%. So we're going to have to send this guy on his way. Actually, let's cash in here. Car is incomplete. Oh, right. We didn't put this. Oh, we didn't put the starter back in. Right. Now, I think we can do it from this end. Kind of helps if you give the customer's car back with a starter. Okay. Let's just let's pretend you didn't see this. Let's go. Okay. 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 There we go. Always put the starter back. <laughs> oh, is it good now? Bam. Okay. Sweet. That actually gets us up a level. So, I wonder what that. No, the next, the next tier is at level 20 anyway. So we have, and we're going to want this one for sure. That one doesn't matter. So we could actually start, wow, we could do repair level four. That would be pretty good. 85% chance of repair. That's pretty, that's pretty sharp. Otherwise we get more money from the customer. But I think, I think we're going to go with the repairs. That's, that's the repair. Especially since we're hitting junkyards and barns now. Um, I'm thinking, yeah, we're going to have some stuff to repair. This and that. Let's have a quick look. Yep. Olsen Grand Club is next. There you go. Oh, we'll get into that in the next episode. Guys, I want to thank you for coming with me on this crazy little job here in Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that like button. And hopefully we'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.